thank you so much for clicking on this video and this is a different video because today I'm going to show much of my face unlike my other videos I only show my wrinkly hands my overworked hands so well wishes to you all I hope you and your family are okay and hopefully we will have a better world out there and just for positivity I think that we should uh, try to feel okay and safe in our very own homes and do something very creative so we will be busy and at the same time productive so today i'm going to share with you something different it's a boho branch wall art just made use of inexpensive materials or and use some materials that i have in the past that i use in my other projects and I came up with this so for this project I'm using a branch and it's two feet long I'm also using inexpensive scarves but I'm only using the dark and the light blue and the light orange so I'm folding the scarf three times After folding all the scarves that I need, I'm going to arrange it in the branch based on the colors and arrangement that I like. When you put the scarves on the branch, you need to make it overlap. The front is halfway overlapping and make sure the back part is longer than the front You're done hanging the scarves over the branch. You can start twisting each scarf three times. After twisting all the scarves, you then start combining all the long scarves by taking one from the right and the left and making a knot to put them together. After tying all the long ones, you then insert the end of the scarf both at the right and the left inside the knot of each end to hide it and tie both short ones together making a knot.
To hang this branch wall art, you can use a twine. You can tie one end on one side of the branch and tie another one at the end of the branch. To decorate my branch, I'm going to use metal sheets and use them as cut-out leaves. And for an example on how to make a leaf, I'm going to use the brass metal sheet. So you just shape it like a leaf and you'll be using a metal scissors or a regular sharp scissors. When handling this kind of material, you have to stay safe. You will also be needing a device like a pen with a ball at the end to create veins but if you don't have that device you can use a regular pen a ball pen uh, without ink you can always use a ruler to guide you when making the vein of the leaves to create veins on your metal leaf you just push your pen and make lines with the guide of a ruler you can also create texture on your leaf by using a device for metal work which is like a roller. It rolls on the metal and creates a texture. You can use a regular puncher to bore a hole on your metal leaf so you can use it to hang later. This is the device I'm talking about. It's a roller and it rolls on the metal and creates a texture but if you don't have this kind of device you can just tap your pen on the metal because the metal is soft and it will create the same results So for this branch wall art, I'm only using this copper metal leaf and attaching them to the scarves. I'm going to stitch them on the scarf and make it hang like this. In stitching, you just create loops to attach it to the fabric. You can attach your metal leaves um, in the upper part of the branch wall art. You can also put it diagonally or you can put it at the bottom. It's really up to you on how you style your branch wall art. For styling your branch wall art, you can even use other materials like fabric, wood, beads, or any ornament. So guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you got some inspiration and make your own DIY branch wall art. Remember to subscribe if you're new to my channel. Hit the notification bell so I will see you next time and thank you so much for watching.